Hi Taurus, welcome to March. This is Teresa from Tarot by T. And um, before I start your reading, I want to call in some good energy. And I want to say thank you for everyone who has um, been subscribing to my channel and watching the videos and leaving comments. I enjoy reading all of them. And thank you for those who've ordered readings. Thank you for your support. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you're enjoying these videos. So what's happening for Taurus? We have a new moon in Pisces on the 6th, and that coincides with Mercury going retrograde on the 5th, and Uranus going into your sign. That's the big news this year, Uranus and Taurus. So expect to be shook up. Expect the status quo to change. Lots of changes for Taurus. And then we have a full moon in Libra at zero degrees on the 20th, and that coincides with the solstice, I mean the uh, vernal equinox, the spring equinox, the first day of spring. So we've got a lot of powerful energy happening in March, but at the same time there's Mercury retrograde, so it's, it's kind of like you got your foot on the gas and the brake at the same time. But, um, but I'll get into the astrology later. Let's see what's going on with the cards. What does Taurus need to know about love and life in the month of March? What does Taurus need to know about love and life? Anything important? What does Taurus need to know about relationships, about love, and anything else important. The Hermit. The Emperor. The Hierophant. The Four of Cups. The Two of Wands, okay. the Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the, t the Devil, the Moon, wow, you've got a lot of major arcana cards in this, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so you start the month out with the energy of the hermit. This is a card of taking time out to think. I think you've been in a kind of a hermit mode and maybe in March you're going to be more in that mode where you're just evaluating your life with the hermit and you're trying to figure out what do I need, what do I want? Because I feel like you're not happy with your current situation. You're wanting, now at the same time, you have this emperor. So this could be someone who's very stable. If it's a man or a woman, if it's someone who is a romantic partner, it's someone who's very organized, very um, mature, very together, very reliable. Now this could be qualities within you, but I feel like um, that's what you're looking for in a relationship. Like you're not, you're trying to figure out like, what do I really want? What do I want in my life? And what can, and you might be trying to figure it all out by yourself. Like you're feeling lonely in March. Like you probably have not, um, you've kind of been like a hermit, pulling back from socializing, not really connecting with people because you're doing a lot of thinking because you're doing a lot of evaluating, you know, where do I want to go? How, how do I get there? What do I even want? The emperor could be someone who can help you figure it out. So if you have someone that represents the emperor, and this could be someone who's a Capricorn, possibly an Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio, um, whoever it is, it's someone that is very together. 
very organized, very disciplined. They know they want to build something. They're, uh, so you could be either connecting. This is also the boss card, the executive card. So maybe it's the time you're thinking like, I want to connect with my leadership abilities. Maybe you're, you've been kind of drifting. You're letting your life drift. And you need to reconnect with, take charge. Tap into this energy of the emperor. I feel like you have been in a situation. Here's the hierophant. You've been doing, you've, you've led, led a pretty conservative life. You've been doing what's expected of you. You're fulfilling all your obligations. You might even be either working in a company that's been around for a long time and has very rigid policies. And this is also the card of stubbornness. So you're kind of set in your ways. You might be like stuck, feeling stuck. You might be working for the same company for years or you might be with the same partner for years. And, and you're feeling... Um, you have this Four of Cups here. So you're kind of feeling like you're like you're stagnating, like your life isn't moving the way it should, that it's the same old, same old. You're feeling neglected, underappreciated, bored. It's kind of like you've lost the spark. Um, the way out, though, is through this energy of the Emperor. I will tell you that much. But... So here you're contemplating your options. Like, well, you know, what else is out there for me? Because this is not really doing it. I'm not, like, I'm not miserable, but I'm not really happy either. You could be happier. You could be excited about life and excited about something. And you're not. And so you're just doing this thinking, like, where do I belong? Where do I fit in? Where do I, what do I want for myself? Something may even be offered to you and you're like, oh, I don't know. It's like you're not really grasping what's out there. You're just kind of sitting around, just contemplating. You have this two of wands. So there is a potential for a partnership. But you're not sure. You're not ready to take action. Or you haven't been in the past, because the four of cups is in the past. With the two of wands, it's like you're waiting. You're waiting maybe for someone to contact you. Or waiting for someone else to take, or waiting to see if you're, if anything comes up, you know. You're kind of in this holding period. I will say, and you have the Queen of Cups here in the future. Um, this could be someone who's a water sign. So you could be dealing with a water sign. You could also be dealing with um, earth. I feel like it could be either earth or water. This is a card who, this is someone who's very sensitive, very intuitive. So that could be a friend or someone that helps you through intuition, through some type of psychic ability, through compassion. But it could also mean that you have to tap into your own intuition, your own intuitive abilities to see, uh, to sense what's, what direction you need to go in. Because there's a lot of confusion around you. You might even be thinking, Page of Pentacles, like, Maybe I need to learn some new skills. Maybe I need to go back to school. Or maybe not, even if it's not a formal, you know, college degree type of thing. Maybe take some classes, update my skills. But it's in your negative thinking sector. So you're kind of feeling like, well, I don't know. Is it worth it? Should I do it? Maybe I'm too old. Maybe it's too late. I mean, you're having all this, I just sense this like defeatist kind of energy. If there is a relationship Someone's attracted to you. It could be someone, um, there's a lot of chemistry. There could also be someone that you're attracted to that could be, um, it's almost like an addiction. Like you might be attracted to someone who could be a little bit of a bad boy. Or someone who has a drinking or a drug problem. Or it could be just a strong physical attraction, like there's more chemistry. You know, it's when you have that strong chemistry with someone, you just feel drawn to them. Um, there could be someone in your environment that finds you very attractive. And it could be this emperor. But for some reason, you're not reaching out to this person. And I think that the emperor could be really good for you. 
he represents stability, he represents responsibility, you know, someone who could take care of you, someone you could depend on. But maybe you're still tied to someone because it, sometimes when the devil comes up, it could be like a codependent relationship where you're taking care of someone and you're doing a lot for this person, but they're not really responding, they're not reciprocating. And the moon here, it's like you're you're kind of confused. You're not sure what to believe. You're not sure what you what to think. You know, is this person interested in me? Is, are they not interested in me? Am I sacrificing too much? Is there, is there something I need to know that I'm not aware of? There's a lot of confusion. A lot of um, so you're trying to make a decision without having all the information, without having all the facts. And sometimes when the moon comes up, you're like, your imagination's running away with you. So you might be imagining, imagining worst case scenarios and letting fear hold you back from moving forward. You could even be dealing with someone who has, is going through some type of mental, um, mental issues or and then you have the Six of Swords here as an outcome card. So the Six of Swords is moving away from difficulty. So I feel that um, at some point in March, you might be moving away from something that has been holding you down and keeping you in this stuck place. And it might be because of this Emperor. You might be meeting someone that inspires you to move on. Someone who gives you either good advice or someone who represents stability. But I think there's fear connected with all this too. Like you're afraid to take action. You're afraid to leave something behind. And you're also afraid to grasp something new. Um, I think mostly because you're confused. You're not sure what, what direction to go in, what choice is the right one. But I think with the Six of Swords, you almost have, you're almost forced to move on because the current situation just isn't going to get better. So you have to move on. And moving on is going to lead to um, greater harmony in your life. You're going to be leaving behind all this confusing energy, all this um, lonely um, feeling un not appreciated, just, you know, leaving all that behind. But you have to, and it might involve, you might have to take some classes. This, this is a student card. So if it's a career situation and you're bored in your career, you may need to take up, upgrade your skills a little bit so that you can move on to a better position. If it's a relationship that you're bored in, I think it's going to come to a point where um, maybe you need help to move on. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Why am I settling for less? Why am I not grasping uh, something that's more stable? Why am I being stuck, being stubborn, not wanting to change? I'll tell you. Let's look at the... Um, but I think March is going to be a time of change. By the end of March, the winds of change are going to start to blow. And you could find yourself traveling in a new direction. And the other thing I wanted to say about the Hermit, you may feel like you're all alone and that you have no one to turn to, but you do have people around you that are there for you. You just have to reach out to them. So they're not going to come to you. You have to reach out. And especially this person here, this Emperor, there is someone in the wings who is there for you, who's your support, who, who wants to see you happy and successful. So don't be afraid to reach out to the Emperor. And don't be afraid also, this is also um, tapping into your own leadership abilities, getting more organized. Maybe you've been drifting, just letting yourself drift and you know the years are just passing you by. So you need to really figure out what is it that I want, create a plan and go for it. And don't let fear hold you back. So now for you, the new moon in Pisces is in your 11th house. That's the house of friendship. That's the house of 
dreams, hopes, wishes, the groups you belong to. Um, Uranus is in your sign. So expect to be, you're going to be feeling this restless energy. Like something's got to give, something's got to change. So you might be forming new relationships, new friendships. You might be joining new groups. Something to like bring more life into your life. Maybe you're going to be working for a cause, working for something that helps society in some way. You've got Saturn, Pluto, and, the, and they're connecting with the South Node in your ninth house. So something to do with travel and education. Um, you might decide that you want to go and learn some new skills. And it may change your life or, the, or your world view in some way. Venus is in the 10th house. So there could be definitely some type of romance happening through the work that you do. Um, and it's squaring Mars in the first. So Mars in the first, Mars in Taurus is giving you energy. Now's the time to, you know, get your ducks in a row. Clean out the closet. Do, you know, Mercury's retrograde, so you don't want to initiate anything, but you do want to clean up. This is clean up time. So go through all the stuff, all the baggage, get rid of all your, all the things that are, you know, get organized. Get your ducks in a row. Go back and tweak things. Um, get rid of old clothes. Like, you know, it's almost like feng shui. You got to just get rid of whatever is cluttering up your life so that you can make room for new energy. But I feel like with, with Saturn and Pluto conjunct the south node in Capricorn, you're finishing up some type of karmic cycle. And that's going to um, free you. Um, it also is, is like healing involved, like something has to be healed. Maybe it's something from the past, from some type of... Um, parental influence something in your life is changing maybe you need to move away from your programming your past conditioning and explore new ways of being in the world the full moon is in Libra it's cutting across your sixth and twelfth house so something is coming to culmination in terms of a work project in terms of your health in terms of your psychological makeup. So I think that you're changing on deep levels. You might even decide to start a new health regimen, like take better care of yourself. You might even decide to um, go into therapy and talk about the things that have always, that you've swept under the rug. You have Saturn and Pluto in your ninth. You have the North Node in your third. So communication is really important right now. I think it's the way to heal is through communication. Now, it can be tricky right now because in at the end of the month because Mercury and Neptune are coming together and they're squaring Jupiter. So you have to be careful with what you hear in March. People might be exaggerating things. So take everything with a grain of salt, including yourself. Your mind, you might be like making a mountain out of a molehill in March. So it's well it's good a good way to communicate and get stuff out would be through art or music do some some type of creative project. Um I think that would be helpful for you. It would be healing for you. Um but I'm telling you you're on the edge of a like you might even feel like doing a makeover. Although I'd wait till um April for that. Wait till Mercury goes direct. But Uranus moving into Taurus is really going to shake you up. You're going to have a new identity. It's going to break you free of past conditioning. It's going to get you out of a rut. If you've been in a rut, it's going to give you like a new uh, new energy so that you can release, like it's going to free you from whatever's been holding you back, whatever's been keeping you stuck. It may just like come like a big wind and just blow it away. Um, but I really feel like this month, would be a good time to take better care of you. Instead of worrying about everybody else, start worrying about you and, and get out and socialize more. Don't be such a hermit. Um, your friends are there to help you. 
So just reach out. Join your group. Get out of your comfort zone in March. It's time to move away. Get on that. Uh, some of you might be moving. Or at least moving away from whatever has been causing you concern. Whatever has been upsetting you, whatever has been worrying you, you're going to be moving away from it. And through communication, you could create greater harmony. Through discipline, through organization, and you know, reaching out to others. I think that will help you to heal whatever's going on within you. Whatever's, whatever's um, keeping you fearful, keeping you stuck. Don't be afraid to even learn new, new things. Don't be afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to break with tradition and try something new. Because I think um, you've almost kind of given up on some level. Thinking that your dreams won't be fulfilled. But they can. Uranus is bringing new energy. Uranus is like, uh, if you've been living in a prison of fear, Uranus is going to come to break you out of jail. And give you a new lease on life. So you're, by the end of the month, you're going to be in, moving in a new direction. And it could be that there is some really compelling relationship that's going to stir you to take action. But you have to do something. You have to get off. You know, you have to give, you have to put some energy behind it. You can't just sit there and wait for like Prince Charming to come knocking at your door. You have to kind of meet the person halfway. Um, so I hope that, um, I hope you enjoy March and I hope you are prepared for Uranus and Taurus because, um, the thing about this full moon, it's in Libra at zero degrees. So usually by the full moon, you see the truth of, in a situation and then you know what to do. But because it's a zero degrees, it's also a new beginning. We've had the past three full moons have been zero degrees. So it's really interesting. It's kind of like the universe is saying, okay, finish up the old baggage. Get rid of, you know, clean out your closet, your psychological closet. Get rid of all the stuff from the past that's not working because it's time for something new. It's time for change. And Uranus is usher, ushering in that change. Um, we're on the edge of a brighter time. We're on the edge of a new beginning. Even though it may not seem that way right now, um, because we're still dealing with the old baggage, with the old karma. But keep the faith and be open. This card of being open to the new Page of Pentacles. Uh, being open to learning new things, seeing things from a new perspective. Don't be rigid. Don't be stubborn. Allow yourself to embrace the new, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable at first. And you'll find yourself traveling in a better direction by the end of the month. And don't let your imagination run away with itself and imagining all these worst case scenarios and let your fears get a grip on you. Because fear will keep you locked in a prison. Break out. The door is open. It's time to move. It's time to go. So I wish you luck in March. I wish you success and happiness. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you like a private reading, you can click on the link in the description box. And we'll be working together. We can, um, I can be more specific. But in the meantime, enjoy March, Taurus. And I will talk to you again next month. Okay, bye now.